What's going on everyone? My name is Jordan and welcome back to a Linux tutorial. And today I want to answer a question that I uh, had and I've seen a few other people have and it's how to change the terminal prompt color in Linux Mint slash Ubuntu. Now I'm sure that there are other ways to change the uh, the prompt and say, you know, Fedora or Arch, um, OpenSUSE, OpenSUSE, I'm not sure how you say it, but anyway, uh, but this is for Linux Mint in particular, as well as Ubuntu, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that terminal, and I'm going to go to my home folder. And you're going to want to go up to view and click show hidden files. And pretty much you'll be able to see all of the hidden files in your home folder, which you probably or maybe didn't even know existed, but yep, they're there. Anyway, you're gonna go to a file called cold dot bash RC. You're gonna double hit that, double click it. And then now you're going to first off, if you don't have any color in your terminal, like let's say this is white uh, with, you know, this is not bold or something like that. Um, there should be a setting right around here called force call here and most likely it'll have a pound sign before it or somewhere here like you just search for force color prompt there's instructions right here um you know uncomment for a colored prompt if the terminal has the capability um you just delete the pound the pound sign and you should be able to customize it if your terminal can handle it i'm just using the normal born again shell aka bash uh, on Linux Mint. So uh, assuming that you have color, let's go ahead and go down here to where it says color prompt. And I'm, sh I'm I hope you guys can see. But just just try to squint here. Let's let's move this right here. Actually. Uh, can I zoom in? Maybe no. Okay. But anyway, right here, there should be two lines starting with PS and then one. So here's line one. And then here's the second one. And you're going to want to be focusing on the second line or the second set of code where it says DB and change root. And you'll see two numbers. First off, one, you know, this will, this will say like 130 something or something along those lines with an M at the end. And then you'll have another number down here that is also kind of the same as this one. So these are the two color codes that determine the color of your prompt on terminal. Now, how do you edit them? There is a set of codes that you can use to, uh, yeah, to pretty much edit them. So let's say, let's go ahead and compare first off, uh, this number, which in my case is one semicolon 36 M, uh, it determines the color of your username and host name. So this is like cyan, cyan. I don't, I don't know how you say that either, but yep. That's what determines this. And then this number down here is what determines your dollar sign or, you know, your the privilege that you have in that terminal. So um, let's say that I want to have a hmm. And by the way, if it says light, this does not mean light. It actually means bold. So this is uh, let's say this is green, right? This isn't light, lighter green. It's actually just bold of this exact same color. Just an FYI, because a lot of people don't know that. Um, so I mean, I should probably write in bold here because that should be bold. But anyway, uh, so yeah, let's say I want my local host, my user at local host to be mm, a bold red. So 131. So I'm going to go to my bash RC file. And then on the second, on the second set of code, it was, what was it? Light red 131, uh, 130 one and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and exit out of my terminal open a new one and now it should be red and we look like we're awesome because <laughs> now our uh, name is red so that's how you edit that and then like let's say you wanted your dollar sign to be heck I don't know um <laughs> light purple 135 so now we're gonna go to this color and type in 135 and we're going to hit save, exit out. It'll take effect next time you open terminal. And there we go. As you can see, it's red. 
I mean, that looks pretty cool if you ask me. <laughs> it's red with a purple, you know, directory right here and then your privilege. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. Um, and I guess like whenever you change your wallpaper, you could just edit it accordingly to match your aesthetics. So yeah, that's how you do that. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Jordan. Subscribe if you enjoyed, like the video, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. So peace out.